Good evening, everyone. All right, this is my first Ignite talk, so uh, bear with me. And uh, this is going over some research I've been working on since November. Uh, you might ask who I am. Uh, hacker and a geek uh, at heart. I'm a recovering sysadmin. Uh, as of about 52 hours ago, I graduated medical school. <laughs> and uh, been building and breaking things uh, most of my life. So this is, uh, I've been working with 3D printers, with MakerBots in particular, on figuring out a workflow to go from medical imaging, like a CT or an MRI, uh, out to a 3D printer. And the important thing about this for me, why to do it, the power of tangibility. People believe things that they hold. You understand it a lot better. And I think it's important, especially with something as critical as surgery, where you're undergoing a procedure to actually understand it. How many people here have had surgery? Show of hands. Anything. How many people actually understood what they were signing the consent for? <laughs> That's what I'd like to improve. And so as far as why would 3D models, instead of just stuff on the screen, be useful? The imaging is complex. Most physicians are not radiologists. This give people a physical model they can actually understand the anatomy with. So uh, just some background, CT, one of the imaging modalities, it's a series of x-rays shot through the human body, uh, about two millimeters spaced, uh, and then you build a 3D model out of that. It's uh, been around since the 70s. Uh, MRI, sorry, my videos aren't playing. MRI is... Uh, uh, with magnets, best image, best to image soft tissue in the body. Uh, so different modalities used for different things. What I've been working on is a tool chain uh, that I was working on in my MacBook that I can take any existing CTE or MRI and figured out a workflow that I could output it to my MakerBot. So one program I've been using is Osirix. It's uh, a uh, professional grade radiology viewing suite. Uh, it's great for 2D stuff, but it has some really cool 3D visualization tools uh, which you can use on screen. Here's an example. These are more impressive when the videos are playing, but uh, yeah, they both kind of look like crap right now. But uh, you can have really good on-screen 3D visualizations of imaging rather than just seeing the 2D slices make a 3D model that you can play with on screen as well. Improves your understanding as a care provider, and it's something you can improve your patient conversation with. So what I figured out was with Osirix, it could export, amongst other things, into a 3D surface rendering model. And that's something that uh, you could then output again into an STL file, which is the industry standard uh, program, or it's the industry standard format for uh, computer-aided uh, design. And that's something that all the 3D printers nowadays are speaking. So next thing I found was this program, MeshLab. Uh, there are other things like it uh, as well. SketchUp and Blender are two things where you can take a, uh, you can take your data and massage it as you need to in order to make it suitable for a 3D printer. There's a lot of people working on this in the maker community, in the 3D printing community, but I'm not seeing many people working on it with medical imaging in the maker, in the maker community. These are tools, again, I haven't really invented anything so much as uh, found a set of tools that one can use. This is, uh, if anyone's used a MakerBot, this is Replicator G. It's probably a relatively familiar site. This is the program that drives a 3D printer and uh, it itself is an open source program. And uh, for anyone not familiar with 3D printers, imagine building something with a hot glue gun, just drawing, draw a layer, and then go up and build on top of it again. So it's a stereo lithography system with 3D extrusion of plastic. So you can work with a number of different plastics. These are, I was able to build one in 12 hours with, uh, with two friends a few months ago. And uh, I wish I had some of the models um, with me, but I've been able to take patient imaging and also imaging from friends and build, uh, build uh, physical models out of them. So uh, if you don't have a 3D printer or you don't want to go through that or you want higher resolution or larger size, there are several companies uh, that you can outsource that to. Just send them your file and they'll mail you your physical object. Or um, 
I know I'm not the only person around here with a 3D printer, so find someone with one. What I'm going to be working with in this next year is I want to find more, again, I want to improve the conversation with patients about their medical care with this. So those are some fields that would be well benefited from it. Uh, five minutes goes by thankfully quick. These are, uh, I couldn't have been able to do any of this without, uh, without people I've collaborated with here and without these projects. Anyone interested in learning more, find me. Thank you.